to try and make it down to wine country. That weather out there has been beautiful. Oh my gosh. And wasn't there. today perfect? Yes. Even in town too, it was great. Yes, it was so great. And you know, the last several days have been warm and I kind of want to recap what we've seen so far. Out at the Blues Festival, we were out there on Friday. That was our warmest day, about 87 degrees. Over the weekend, mid 70s, 83 degrees for our Sunday. And today, we actually topped out at about 78, but warmer for the 4th of July. Here's a look at our highs around the rest of the region, mid 80s for the Dallas, 89 degrees in Red Mid upper 70s for Vancouver. We saw beautiful sunny conditions out along the coast, topping out in the mid 60s this afternoon, and 74 degrees in Kelso. I want to point out this amazing photo. Look at this, Lincoln City. Uh, this is the sunset. I will step off so you can get a full picture of it. Sent in by Dave. This just looks amazing, like a painting. I want to hang this in my house. Thank you today for sending this. I'm always looking for your viewer photos of weather and what you're seeing in your neighborhood on Facebook, Twitter, or you can email us. So. Let's talk more about our current conditions this evening. 64 degrees. One thing you might have noticed is the winds starting to pick up this evening. Currently, those temperatures are mild around our area. 70 degrees in the Dallas. Warmer as you get east of the Cascades with mid 60s Portland, Salem, Albany, mid 50s out towards Astoria. Here's a look at those winds. We're calming down in Lincoln City. A breezy still in Astoria. Portland's picked up a bit and out towards the Dallas. I went ahead into the metro area. You can see, well, earlier we were gusting about 20 miles per hour just around maybe 1030. It's calmed down, but you can definitely see the stronger winds up towards Vancouver and out towards Beaverton and Hillsborough this evening. Now, looking at our forecast headlines, it's going to be a bright, sunny and warm 4th of July. So barbecues are going to be on track. Make sure you have the sunscreen out. It's going to be heating up into low 90s by the middle of the week, and we're looking at a sunny and warm weather in the forecast. It's going to continue all the way through the weekend. Here's our Doppler radar, so not a lot going on rain-wise, but what you have noticed is uh, the high clouds are starting to stream in this evening, starting to move out towards Pendleton. Still pretty clear over Burns, but you're definitely noticing those high clouds. We saw it on that time lapse earlier, and that's going to roll into tomorrow morning. We'll start to see some clouds again to start your day out along the coast. Portland, we might see a few high clouds, especially out towards Astoria. By lunchtime, I think we'll be in the clear with plenty of sunshine, so any of those activities, it's going to be be a warm one. Find ways to stay cool out in the shade because those temperatures are really going to soar by the afternoon time. For Wednesday morning, things stay clear as well. So we are in the midst of summer and it's definitely feeling like it and looking like it out there for our forecast. So tomorrow, if you are heading to the Blues Festival again around 11 a.m., the gates open 70 degrees, mid 80s by 3 o'clock, 10 o'clock, right when those fireworks go off in the low 70s, just perfect uh, firework weather. Around the region, here's your forecast for the 4th of July, partly cloudy start out along the coast, mid 60s. I've spent several 4th of Julys out along the coast for our, uh, out in the southern Washington coast, and it's been cloudy and cold. So this will be nice. Upper 70s for the valley. 80s and breezy for the gorge, central part of the state in the low 90s. Here's your firework forecast, mid 50s at the coast. Bring a coat. We'll see some clouds out there for the valleys, low 70s. We're this right around 10 o'clock. Pretty much no matter where you're at besides the coast, it's going to be clear and sunny. Perfect. I checked the winds, not too strong, but always be careful if you do uh, have your own fireworks. I know that's a big mm. no no. Just Leave it to the professionals. Don't do anything <laughs> crazy. And temperatures in the low 90s for Wednesday. But the forecast is looking perfect in summer life. Especially if it's as good of a forecast as that. I mean, why do it yourself? No, I watch just, them. I like watching the big ones. So I just say leave I'm it to the professionals. You. I'm with you. Thanks, Claire. Well,